and like strange yeah. hobbies and things that you know. And he said he was just down sort of. Um, God, I'm going to forget where it, forget where it is now. Is it Blackheath or I don't know? Some, somewhere in London, anyway, a big park. Mm. And there was this guy doing it, and he and he just got chatting to him, mm. and uh, you know, like you do, you just your interest gets uh, you know excited, and you kind of like go out and buy one, right? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you're that guy with the kite. <laughs> so, yeah, I do wonder where do those guys come from? Yeah, and now I know. <laughs> yeah, it's just one random guy mm. chatting with another random guy, mm. and that's how like hobbies flow throughout 100%. the world, right? Yeah, and uh, I, I don't think I'm going to get one. Um, mainly because, like, of the I'm looks. Not... <laughs> I'm not going to get one. No, obviously. No. I mean, come on. I mean, I'm not going to get one. <laughs> it's an idea. But, um, yeah, just just the looks that you get from other people. You've got to be like, and I, I don't care. I'm yeah, going to yeah. do this That's sort of guy, which, which which is cool. And I like to think most of the time I'm like that, but I don't care enough about the kite to put up with that, you know. Sure. Because there was a lot of, like, people clearly not knowing whether he had control of it. I'm worried about it. Worried about it, right. yeah. Because it's you know it's once you sort of let the reins out a bit, like it's it goes quite it goes really high and yeah. quite far away from you if you're like dipping it down. So you've got to have a lot of space. So you can tell there's some people that are like, oh sweet, this is amazing, and their kids are loving it and mm. all this. And then there's some people that are just like, you know, tutting and looking at you like it's just really dangerous. Like if this comes anywhere near me, blah blah that sort of thing. You know? <laughs> right. And to be fair, like sometimes if there's a big gust of wind and you lose control of it, it can like oh, almost okay. take someone out. <laughs> Uh, which I, I guess is a, it would be annoying. That's another <laughs> level of view. danger, though. That's added interest for me. I like it. Yeah, but it's only a kite. Like it's not like it's not a rocket. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's not <laughs> going to kill you. It's just uh, crazy. Uh, but yeah, I just thought it was interesting. Yeah. Um, so yeah, shout out to all the kite flyers out there. Yeah, and especially you... the stunt stunt kite flyers because they sound cooler. Stunt kites. Yeah. yeah. Stunt kites. Sounds. <laughs> what does it sound like? <laughs> Sounds like an insult. Yeah. To my yeah. Well, oi mate, yeah. you stunt kite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like to drive, you kite? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I love it. Um, yeah. yeah have man. you ever flown one? Have I flown a? Have kite? you ever piloted a kite? Piloted. <laughs> I don't know what the phrase is, <laughs> but <laughs> you f- you fly a kite, but you pilot a stunt kite. <laughs> oh yeah. You have to wear aviators as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's the law. Oh You my have to have a God. code name. Dude, that's a music video, surely. <laughs> Full on, like, aviator jumpsuit, yeah. glasses. Um, mate. Like a dogfight. Top Gun, kite, dogfight. You can write a 80s action <sighs> film tune, 100%. I know you've got it in you. This is incredible. And then within that, in fact, you may already have one um, oh, man. written. And the music video is just full on tash, shaven but a tash. Yeah. This That's is insane. <laughs> I, I'm, I actually really want to do that now. <laughs> oh, amazing. Mm. Uh, okay, if this materialises, we'll let everybody know when and where we're filming it. Mm. It'll probably be on a beach, on Brighton Beach or somewhere at yeah. some point. If <laughs> We've literally just had the idea. But, it, yeah. but pencil Definitely in. Definitely be there. The 17th of August, 3pm, uh, be there or be square, <laughs> Hove Seafront. <laughs> <laughs> no TBC TBC mm. on the on the vid date uh, but that would be amazing yeah. imagine if we've got loads of folks down and they were all in the video and you've got to, you know wearing their top top gun outfits mm. <laughs> that would be sick every you know every bloke's got one in the wardrobe from yeah. that stag do or yeah. that like uni night out you know? 100%. <laughs> I think you've got at least two yeah <laughs> <laughs> one of my one of the best photos of me ever <laughs> I think to date um, is me wearing a full on aviator suit glasses yep um, at one of my brother's parties when he used to live in Wimbledon. Oh yeah, those were those shout were out Sean. Shout out to Sean. We had him on a few weeks ago. Yeah, um, which was great because he's five years older than me. Yeah, as are all of his friends. So I'm going up there like an eighteen, an eighteen year old. Yeah, to these like university parties that are like, well, they, I guess post university, but um, still just, the same vibe. They're basically university parties filled with these like. 23 year olds yeah. just going in <laughs> crazy yeah, it was the, it's the dream it's, it's like <laughs> showing you all the tricks yeah 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 it's like uh, American Pie vibes like where they're trying to sneak into like the, the Stif- like seniors years like parties right you're like Stifler's brother when he shows yeah. up in American <laughs> yeah. Pie 2 yeah just guarding the gate <laughs> it's an interesting one though because as a younger 
brother, you don't want to be that guy. The annoying, like, younger brother. Mm. You have to learn to just sort of blend. Yeah. Which is kind of hard, but... It's a great skill to have, just in the world, being able to fit in. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bloody good skill. Big time. I remember, um, one, I remember one time I didn't fit in. I turned up to this party with all the ingredients to make white Russians. <laughs> <laughs> which is I mean, amazing. I mean, yeah. White Russians are great. But everyone was like, what are you making? A white Russian, do you want one? And they, they look at you weird for a second and they're like, yeah, all right. <laughs> and I just just started giving them out, which it worked. But that could have gone sour real fast. Like, no one brings white Russians to a, like, university party. Mate, you were just doing the podcast, like, ten years too early <laughs> is what you were doing. You were getting there. <laughs> now those same guys are like, mate, hey, how'd you make a white Russian? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm throwing a party and I need a white Russian recipe. <laughs> I remember that you can make them. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, maybe they'll come back. Um, so, okay, your Top Gun picture is um, is the second greatest picture of you of all time. Okay. Because I know what the first greatest is. Ooh. Well, this was also another fancy dress party. Oh, God. This is you as little <laughs> orphan Annie. <laughs> with oh, with no. a full beard <laughs> and a big curly afro. <laughs> In a dress that I don't know where you found, with some <laughs> balloons, literally, like, so obvious, like, proper balloons, like, pushed down the front of this dress, <laughs> with your hairy chest, like, poking, like, it's kind of poking out from behind these balloons. Yeah. And that's that's definitely the first greatest. Yeah, that was a good party. It was a ginger party, so... Oh, it was, wasn't it? And I yeah. had curly hair at the time, kind I, of. I went as um, Keith Lemon. That's it. Oh, man. Remember Keith Lemon? Yeah. He was a thing for a while. Yeah, is he still time. a thing? Yeah, yeah, still does celebrity juice and that. Does he? Does yeah. that still go? I, I think don't so. Know. Yeah, I mean, I th- these sort of things. If it's you know, most episodes are the same, aren't they? Same yeah. sort of style, which is cool. But like, they're really, you know, they're really popular for like two years, aren't they? And then sure. you know, people move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but yeah, I think it's still going. He's a funny guy. Um, and it's see, I never know what his name is. <laughs> what his what real is name? The, what's is? the guy's name? Is it Avid Marion, or or is that, or is that from? Bo Selector. Um, I don't know. I don't think Keith, Keith Lemon's a real human no. being. No. no he's de- but, I mean, on his Instagram, it's like he's a real person. I think that's his most famous persona, though, ever. Has he just blended in? Okay, here's a question. Okay. If Do you reckon there are certain people that, like, their character gets so popular uh, and so loved and things like Instagram are a thing now, so that you, you kind of have to live your entire life as this character. Do you think their character merges into their person? 100%. Into their real, you know, into their reality. Clint Eastwood, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you ever heard of him? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Little known <laughs> Western star. Um, um, yeah. I mean, that come on. He, yeah, that grim, that face, the, his voice. Yeah. I mean, now it's so haggard and gravelly. Yeah. Maybe it's the smoking, but there's no way a human, normal human being ever learns to talk like that. He, yeah, I completely agree. But he doesn't actually like smoking. He doesn't smoke. Well, there. How, how is it that gravelly then? I don't know. Unless he's on purpose. Drinking. I mean, he's oh. super old now, so that's probably why. But back yeah. in the day. I mean, I, I remember he, you know, the, the famous little anecdote about the, the Dollars trilogy, the, you know, the three main famous ones that he did Fistful of dollars, a few dollars more, and the good, the bad, and the ugly. He sm- he was smoking this cigar, and he mm-hmm. really he didn't like it, and it was like, you know, it all in his face and stuff, and it just made his mouth taste horrible, and it gave him that sort of like hor- horrid grimace, like he hates everything around him. And Sergio Leone, the director, sees it and is like, "That's it, you're gonna smoke that cigar the whole goddamn time," and he's like, "Oh hell," he's like, <laughs> "Now I can do it." <laughs> So now this cigar is just stuck in his mouth oh, I love for it. three films. It's brilliant. I love it. Oh, man. <laughs> you know what else I love in films when they do with things with cigars? When, like in a World War II film or or that sort of era, where they've got, obviously they've only got one cigar to last them like a week. Yeah. And they've just got this unlit cigar that they've <laughs> been smoking on and off for about three days, just chewing it in their mouth. This chewing whole time. the hell out of it, yeah. Oh, man, it looks so cool. <laughs> looks so, so cool. Down. Oh jeez! I wish I could get away with that, you know. Yeah. Imagine walking around like Putney <laughs> with an unlit, chewed cigar in your mouth. Mm. People would look at you, gone out. <laughs> yeah, they would. <laughs> yeah, you know, I just want to live in a place. I don't think this place exists anymore. Maybe it does in like the Far East or something, but um, yeah. Yeah. where you can just light a cigar. Yeah. A big Churchill cigar. 
Yeah. You're going to know it's going to take you about an hour or so to finish. Yeah. But you've got errands to run. Mm. You're going to go in and out, of pl- indoors, outdoors. Yep. You've got to speak to people. In you have your to car. do things. You have to work or whatever. And it just it just isn't a problem. It's just a thing. Mm. People accept it and it's just, yeah, cool. Yeah. I think 1970s California. Yeah. You're going to have to move there. <sighs> yeah. I don't San Antonio, even... Texas in the 50s. Yeah, exactly. I think there's going to be... There's somewhere we can go, like North Korea or something. Well, they, they don't care. <laughs> we'll smoke. <laughs> Kim, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's the last from the Blokes podcast here. Um... <laughs> I know you're pretty authoritarian on a lot of stuff, but um, where do you sit on the old smoking ban? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently they've got one of the highest like smoking things in the world, haven't they? Smoking percentages, like maybe like 60% of adult males smoke. Christ. But apparently the, the women don't, or they don't officially, it's like mm. 0.01. So if like, it's just got this massive taboo, you know, that it's like a hor- horrible, stinky, manly, gross thing to do. Right. So like, uh, culturally, women don't really smoke. And those that do kind of pretend they don't. This is no- North Korea? North Korea, yeah, pa- apparently. This is just from an article. Yeah. No, yeah. What a fascinating country that is. Yeah. Super interesting. Do you remember that guy that went there from America and then stole a sign or something? <laughs> no. He was like, I think he went there perhaps on a sporting thing. I think he was a teenager or mm. a young man. In the hotel, there was a, like a sign that just said like, I don't know, welcome to North North Korea or like the Hilton, North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's no Hilton now, but you know what I mean? And yeah. he pocketed it basically. Amazing. And they found out and yeah. Jesus. I think he got chucked in the... In a chokey. In a gulag. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, in a slammer. Bloody hell. But, Mate. Um, don't, it's one of those places just don't muck about. Like, everyone <laughs> knows. Everyone knows yeah. that you don't muck about there. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Don't jaywalk. <laughs> mm. You know. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Crazy. Another, I think I heard another thing as well. They have these, like, crazy bomb tunnels, basically, because they're so, like, paranoid about getting bombed by the US. Right. That they've got these crazy... Bunkers, basically, which could fit the majority of the population. Yeah. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> just in these mountains, because it's quite mountainous yeah. in North Korea, apparently. So they can just hide what out. What kind of crazy country has got that? I mean... Maybe we've got it, we just don't know about it. No, we definitely don't have it. We nah. They just let us fry. Yeah. <laughs> the rest of them will be all right, but... Yeah. <laughs> all the higher-ups will be all right. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Is it time to uh, to level up the beer situation? I'm really excited. But Shall yeah, we do it? it? Let's do it. <laughs> okay. So what have we got here? Stitch up. Sly Beast. So this is an Imperial Stout. And I know before I came, you've done a little bit of research into what an Imperial Stout actually is. Well, yeah. I mean, because previous listeners would, would know that like, I'm, I'm a kind of newbie to the whole Stout, Porter, that whole ballpark of beers. Right, and I've always been said, "Oh, I don't think I've had the right one. Don't think I've tried the right one." Sort of thing. So I think today's the day. This could be okay, it. so I did a quick bit of googling because it's it's this is uh, Stitch Up by Sly Beast Brewing, but it's their Imperial Stout. So I just love love the name already, mm. Imperial Stout. Imperial. That's, that's fantastic. I love it. Yeah. Um, it's this <laughs> this this guy is eight point nine percent. Okay, <laughs> which to me like seems so strong but yeah. once i googled this imperial style is like at least eight percent basically that's okay. that's what it is okay um and apparently it was made uh back in the day a few hundred years ago made in london and it was sent to uh catherine the second of russia right? right so sometimes you might see it as russian imperial style you know depending on who's making it or something because it has connections to being sent to russia back in the day okay um so yeah, I'm really excited. I mean, it's it's going to be dark. It's going to be well, according to what I've read, it's going to be chewy. Mm. It's going to be heavy. It's, I mean, it's really meaty. strong, right? Meaty, big, heavy, strong flavors. Yeah. So um, I'm super excited. I'm, ho- I'm I'm ex- I'm hoping for some like coffee, burnt kind of yeah bread kind of tastes to this. I want some real like dark, nutty, nutty not, not roast. Yeah, taste. yeah. 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 Um, so I guess it's so it's super. I guess it has to be super um, high in alcohol because if they're sending it to Russia, right? That was the whole thing. Yeah, that's why you got those exports, like lager exports. They're higher volume because it's just been taken away, and then it would go off. I think 
quicker yeah. if it wasn't as high. 